Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed a nice, refreshing cup of coffee. I'd just like to say a huge thank you to our wonderful volunteers who work really, really hard to serve you and make it such a lovely experience. So maybe give a round of applause to Laura and her team. Thank you so much. Brilliant. Well done. Outstanding. Outstanding. So now, um, I would just like to introduce Simon. Well, I'm actually going to let him introduce himself, but he's an extraordinary career to date. And uh, I think a few maybe have heard him already singing before across the way in the church on different occasions. So anyway, enjoy. Thank you very much, Sharon. Uh, uh, hello, everyone. It's uh, great, great to be here. And uh, the sun's finally out a little bit. Uh, it's, I hope you've had a lovely, I love the, the crockery, it's very, uh, it looks beautiful, Laura. Uh, I hope you've had a great morning so far. So we're going to do a little bit of everything, as, as Sharon mentioned, my name is Simon Morgan, and um, I do a little bit of everything, but some of you may have seen me in, in the church uh, uh, over the years, and today I know you've seen him, uh, Dennis has agreed to join me, uh, which, is, which is brilliant, so I really appreciate that, thank you very much to Dennis Keane. Um, and you haven't heard him play yet, maybe so. <laughs> but uh, we're going to start, we thought we'd start, given we are in a pastoral centre and we're here at, at the church, with a piece. Well, I hope over the, over the course of these, this next little while you'll join in on a song or two. Uh, but we thought we'd start with, with an entrance hymn, so to speak, <laughs> uh, which one person did request. And uh, so we're going to start with amazing grace uh, and say a grace after meal here. <laughs>
So now for something completely different. Uh, this is called Love's Been Good To Me, uh, a great song by um, Rod McCune. And uh, he's, he wrote over 1,500 songs, an amazing singer. It was first um, recorded by, I think, the Kingston Trio did it. And uh, he wrote songs like Seasons in the Sun, uh, Four Seasons in One, we'd call it here in Ireland. Uh, but this, this song is a great song. You'll probably know the Frank Sinatra version. Uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful song. I have been a rover, I have walked alone, hiked a hundred highways, never found a home. Still in all, I'm happy. The reason is, you see, once in a while, along the way, love's been good to me. Okay, you better get better by the time we're doing the sing-alongs. This, that's brutal. <laughs> but this is actually a, a, a really beautiful song, and uh, thanks to Dennis for suggesting it, actually. Uh, here we go. The old romantic. <laughs> I have been a rover I have walked alone Hiked a hundred highways Never found a home Still in all I'm happy The reason is, you see once in a while along the way Love's been good to me There was a girl in Denver Before the summer storm Oh, her eyes were tender Oh, her arms were warm and she could smile away the thunder, kiss away the rain. Even though she's gone away, you won't hear me complain. I have been a rover, I have walked alone. Hiked a hundred highways, never found a home. Still, in all I'm happy, the reason is, you see, once in a while along the way, love's been there was a girl in Portland Before the winter chill We used to go a-courting Along October Hill And she could laugh away the dark Seems like only yesterday As down the road I go I have been a rover I have walked alone Hiked a hundred highways Never found a home Still The reason is, you see, once in a while along the way, love's been good to me. Once in a while along the way, love's been good to me.
thank you very much. I, I was fortunate enough a, a few years ago to do a, a, an album around the songs of Thomas More. Uh, Thomas More, who put the beautiful mel uh, words to, well, some of the melodies have been collected by others, including Bunting, and, uh, but he popularized them, and with these piano accompaniments by Stevenson, they were published in books, and they were, you all know them because they were um, omnipresent for many, many years, uh, and actually really beautiful, beautiful lyrics. People I know moved away from them, but they're coming back hopefully into, uh, into force again. It's funny, people are kind of scared artistically of a rhyming couplet, but if they're done well, they're actually a wonderful, a wonderful thing. Uh, so we thought we'd do a song from that album. Um, it's a great song. James Joyce used uh, quite often Thomas More in his in his works because he would have been so ever present. Uh, and and music is such an important part of Joyce's works. This one comes uh, is used in the portrait of an artist as a young man, and it's used as a as an example of uh, Stephen, the protagonist. He knows he needs to leave his home uh, to go to the continent to to, to pursue his ambition to be an artist. But he hears this song being sung and uh, it nearly keeps him in Ireland. Uh, it's hard when you're, um, you have so many cultural ties to home and, and songs like these kind of keep you in, in, in the home place, so to speak. Uh, and it, when he hears this song, he's so f filled with nostalgia. Uh, and, f and for me, actually, this song has a particular poignancy after COVID, because when I used to sing it, uh, I, I recorded it at one point over COVID, and um, I feel like one who treads alone some banquet hall deserted. Uh, and you think, and you think now we're we're back to having full homes. So actually, it's a celebration in many ways. This song, um, and there are peaks and troughs, but we have a full banquet hall today. Uh, this is often the stilly night. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, there are some Thomas More CDs outside for those of you who prepare very early on for Christmas presents. Um, so, feel free to pick them up. That'll be one less job to do. Uh, we are going to get everyone singing now. Uh, give Dennis a break and thank you so much again. Dennis has learned uh, that song and all the other chords, so thank you very much, Dennis. I really, really appreciate that. That's lovely. Um, so, we're going to go to... Actually, we have a bit of Rodgers and Hammerstein uh, coming up a little later on, which you're all going to sing to. But this, uh, the golden age of the musical, um, one of the boldest movements our, our statements ever made was the beginning of this mu musical. Up till then, there had been overtures playing before every, every musical and every opera. But with this, this particular musical starts with simply a guy coming onto stage and there's um, someone churning butter and he sings this song, fully unaccompanied to begin with, and then the orchestra comes in. Uh, you all know it, it's from Oklahoma. We're all gonna sing it together. Uh, I was gonna wait till the sun was fully out, but I don't think we'll be waiting till one. So uh, let's, let's go with this. We all know the chorus, uh, so I'll start it off. Um, There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's high. And it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky. We all know this, so everyone better join in. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful feeling, everything's going my way. All the cattle are standing like statues. All the cattle are standing like statues. They don't turn their heads as they see me ride by. But a little brown maverick is winking her eye. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. Oh. The earth are like music. All the sounds of the earth are like music. The breeze is so busy, it don't miss a tree. And an old weeping willow is laughing at me last time. Oh, what a beautiful morning. I got a beautiful feeling, everything's going my way. Oh, what a beautiful day. I might have started out at an ambitiously high key. Um, for myself too, I'm not just uh, talking to the altos. <laughs> uh, but hey, it's good to wake up. It's after midday, uh, so, so we're, we were ready. Um, so we're gonna continue with a song. It's, it's funny, uh, this is another rap pack song. It's, it's, it's a great song about a dancer who finds himself in jail quite often. Uh, his name is Mr. Bojangles. And uh, it's a, a really beautiful, beautiful song, particularly when Sammy Davis Jr. sang it. Uh, just, he, he was such a multi-talented, you know, member of the Rat Pack, really, who could do everything. And uh, this is the great Mr. Bojangles. He could even whistle, so I'm going to attempt it. Please join in if you can.
And you are Mambo Jangles and he danced for you In worn out shoes With silver hair and braggy pants and baggy shirt he could do the old soft shoe He could jump so high Jump so high And then he'd lightly touch down I met him in a cell in New Orleans I was Well I was down and out. He seemed to me to be the very eyes of age. As he spoke right out, he talked of life. Talked of life. Laughed down his head. A step. He said his name, Bojangles, then he danced a lick Right across the cell He grabbed his pants, took a better stance And jumped so high That's when he clicked his heels then he let go of oh, let go of love. Shook back his clothes all around Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Lord, he could dance, dance, dance. Oh, he could dance. He told me of the times he spent with minstrel shows, traveling throughout the South. He spoke through tears of fifteen years, how his dog and he. They just traveled about But his dog up and died Dog just got old and died And after twenty years he still grieved He said I'd dance now at every chance And honky tonk for my drinks and tips But most of the times I spend behind these county bars You see, son, I drink a bit Then he shook his head Lord, he shook his head Shook back his clothes all around That was Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles Lord, he could dance, dance, dance Oh, he could
So we said we're going to uh, try a little bit of everything uh, today, and we started with a piece, um, a religious piece. Um, we're going to do one now uh, by the great Oriada, a Christ on Shield, and it, it's quite interesting that he wrote this mass um, after the Second Vatican Council. There was a kind of, I'm sure, as many of you will know, there was a, a movement towards getting a little bit more involvement in the masses, um, and interestingly enough plain chant and Gregorian chant and Latin chant used to be part of this progressive side of the church because it was uh, it was there to have people to sing along uh, and over the years it became part of a conservative element but the idea was that we would have a new awakening of vernacular music um, that would get people from cultures or, or from particular customs to sing along uh, with the mass. Many composers interpreted this as making the Mass very simple, and we have very simple settings of the Mass. Um, and when I say simple, I mean beautiful, but easy to learn and sing along with, like it's Shor Shabadli, uh, and we all, we all sing along those parts. But Arida took a different kind of stab at it. He kind of said, well, actually, if I write in the idiom, in the vernacular of the Irish people, people will learn these pieces, even though they're actually quite complex. Uh, and so we still all remember the Arnahar or the, uh, and all the parts of his Mass, which is, it, it's an amazing testament to him because they're, they're, they're complex pieces with large ranges. Uh, they're all, in, you know, an octave and a half, an octave and a fifth. So very big ranges, but they've lasted the test of time. So it's a real testament to Orieda. Um, we thought we'd, today we'd do one, which is just a beautiful text, a Chris and Shiel, Ni Kriokok O Os. It's a beautiful, the cycle of life. Um, and uh, once again, brings us into mind uh, the the COVID years, and now we're we're back. So, ni kriokok aos. So here we are, um, and then we're going to finish with a piece that is going to have everyone singing along, uh, which is Edelweiss. Just in case you need to memorize those words while you're thinking this. Now you all know it, and not only not only that, but Dennis has been very kind. He's He's got it in three keys, so the altos will be happy and the sopranos get to soar a little bit at the end. So everyone will be happy. But first, uh, a moment from the Aria the Mass and then Chris and Chill. Thank you very much. And from Dennis too, I, I think it, it's time for a bow, Dennis. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for everything this morning. To, to, to everyone here, uh, it's, it's uh, so wonderful that we have, uh, uh, like, to be part of this community. I'm lucky, I, I don't live too far away, and I'm lucky as well, and uh, with the team of, the, uh, of priests and the, the whole, the whole team here it seems to be an amazing community. Uh, so thank you for inviting me in today. Uh, it's, it's been wonderful to be, be part of this morning. And um, 
maybe with this one we will I think there's nothing better than singing together. That shows real communitas. So we're going to go for Edelweiss. Plus, I don't really know the words that well, which is a disgrace. This is Rogers and Hammerstein. And it is... Um, we're going to go for Edelweiss, The Sound of Music. Uh, now it's your turn to shine. We're going to start quite low. So all you altos, let's be having you. And uh, I know there's a lot of singers here. Uh, so thank you for listening to us again. Here we go, Edelweiss. chatting <laughs> it's what it's all about it's hard to get you to stop chatting but that's a great complaint to have isn't it so <laughs> well we could ask <laughs> do you have an encore we'll have to go for that in a minute wait till we see wait till we see we'll see <laughs> 
more. That's a good, that's a good yeah. thing, isn't it? So thank you so much to Simon and very much to Dennis as well. We really appreciate uh, you coming this morning and I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Um, unfortunately, I got called away to the office, but I was listening with my other ear out the door. So, um, so today we just have some, um, Simon has some CDs actually. And um, having heard his beautiful voice now, we're going to ask him to draw a ticket for me, please. Not looking. Not looking. And we have the first prize is a CD. 422. 422. Does anybody have 422? Yeah, there you go. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> right, well done. Very well done. Super. And we have another CD as well. Okay, here we go. Huh. 411. Oh, I know, I know, sir. Nice. 411. Ah, congratulations. There you are. Congratulations. Now, we also have a um, lovely box of chocolates, kindly donated as well, so. Okay. Sorry, it's all four, four, six, five. Sorry. Four, six, five. Four, six, five, anybody? Is there a name? Ah, no. Yay. <laughs> That's all right, though. They're all friends. That's okay. Congratulations. There you go. And our final prize, we have a lovely um, bottle of wine here. Just take it out of the, so that you can see it. So we have a lovely bottle of wine. I'll try not okay, to drop nice. it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. The final one. Five, one, two. Five, one, two. Five, one, two. Ah, there you are. Congratulations. <laughs> So, I just have one final announcement. So, first of all, to say thank you again, everybody, for coming. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, yes, we'd definitely love to have Simon back again another time. Um, also, so for next month's event, we have a very special gentleman who's actually here. Tony, our speaker, is just right here. And he is going to do a really great presentation. He has some beautiful cars. Absolutely lovely, and we're hoping to have some of the cars out the front here. So if you'd like to have your photograph taken, not a run around the block in them now, just to be clear. <laughs> but bring your camera, or we can probably take a couple of shots if you would like. Um, and of another friend, Ray, who has a beautiful Morgan, and he's going to bring his Morgan car as well. So Joni, uh, Tony has done a wonderful presentation. I've been privy to it, and it's really interesting. And the cars he's had during his life, which have not been ordinary cars, very special mostly, I think. So I hope you'll come along and enjoy that. That is on the 29th of May. It's our next event. Okay, so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Would you like to sing an encore? Will we go for an encore? I think if you give him a big round of applause, he might just allow you one more song. Is that okay? You'll have to do, make do with one Morgan today. The vintage one is next week. <laughs> um, so I think we might actually all sing an, an upbeat song, a fun song. Uh, you all know, Yamo, Yamo, Koppa Yamaya. So this is my favorite song about a train going up the side of an extinct volcano in Italy. Um, it's Finicoli, Finicola. If you don't know the words, just go choo choo from time to time and we'll get to the end. Uh, but this is Finicoli Finicula. Stasera in a mesa non montato, te lo dirò, te lo dirò. Colombo dove rispetto in con ingrato, più vanno un po', più vanno un po'. Colombo cento il fuoco, ma so fuggi, ti lascia star, ti lascia star. E non de con ingresso in alti sorgi a riquadar, a riquadar. Io non siamo, 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 coppa e ammaia, su su, siamo, siamo, coppa e ammaia, funicoli, funicola, funicoli, funicola, coppa e ammaia, funicoli, funicola. Let's get the napkins out. Se se la nina mia se non notato, te lo dirò. E lo dove rispetto in gol ingrato, più fanno un po', più fanno un po'. 
Colà, co gente un poco ma so fuggi, ti lascia star, ti lascia star. E non ne con ingresso in otti sfuggi, a riguardar, a riguardar, one last time. Yamo, yamo, happy up my up. Yamo, yamo, happy up my up. Funicoli, funicola, funicoli, funicola. Hop, I'm a funny, funny, funny girl.